YouTube, what's good with y'all, man? It's your boy Goat Mill. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn that post notification bell on so you know when I'm posting a video. And yeah, let's get into it. We are counting down the weeks and days of the most highly anticipated project of 2024, and that is I Am Music by Playboy Cardi. Now, if there's anyone that can control the internet of the music world, it's Cardi. Because as soon as he gets back active on social media, everybody immediately drops what they're doing and they pay attention. Cardi took it to his burner Instagram to prepare a message for his fans. He released this post of a banner which revealed the words I am music and he had other people in his camp to post this as well. Ken and Lone would repost this, Filthy would repost this, and more people that are behind the scenes would repost it as well. But in our eyes at the time it just seemed like another meaningless pump fake. But this was actually not the case as Cardi would start being active on his Instagram story and the following day he would post an entire music video on his spam. Fans speculated that this song was called You're the Moon. But I I think it's been clarified now that the song is called Different Day, which is more believable considering Cardi at least said that phrase at least one time in a song. It was just so surprising that he would drop a song, let alone a music video, on Instagram. He would follow up by being even more active on his Instagram, reposting everybody that posted his song or reacted to a song. He was even posting memes at one point. The following week, he would release another snippet, which looked to be him and his signed artist listening to another song in the background, which looked to be him and his signed artist listening to another song in the background. And in this snippet, people picked up on the line, they wanted this album to be offset, but I told them I'm coming normal. And judging by the snippet, it sounds like a more normal trap sound from Cardi. It kind of has that more ATL sound and kind of drifts away from the kind of punk and rage sound that Cardi would have on Whole Lot of Red. All right, quick intermission, because of course Cardi decided to drop a song the day that I'm recording. He ended up releasing the trap snippet and it's called Hood Buyer. And like the other releases, I'm enjoying this one as well. It's not groundbreaking or anything, but it's nice to know that Cardi can really turn it on to some hard trap shit every once in a while. And plus that offset line, he's really convincing me that uh, this album is probably going to get this type of sound the most but anyways back to the video so that just leads to another question how do we think this album is going to sound either way with whatever cardi decides to drop or what type of sound he tries to go with we know it's going to be the blueprint for the more smaller artists in the next year Cardi's inspiration can be a big gift and it can be a big curse at sometimes the following day after he posted that snippet cardi would release another music video titled 2024 in which the song was co-produced by Kanye. And this song is interesting because we heard baby voice Cardi in Different Day, so we know he's not completely abandoning that sound, but we've kind of gotten a lot of previews of deep voice Cardi so far. We've got Fiend with Travis Scott in which he kind of debuts it, and in other snippets he's been showing it as well. In the song 2024, he starts it off with his usual baby voice, but in the second verse he would then switch to his deep voice, as if he was kind of like featuring himself. It was definitely an interesting switch, and if you ask me, I think 2024 is the better song. I do like Different Day, but I think 2024 just gives that feel good vibe of it. The projected date of I Am Music to drop is January 5th, and to be honest, I think that's a pretty accurate date. DJ Academics confirmed the album to be releasing in January, and I know a lot of people clown DJ Academics, but after all, he was the one that told us the right release date for Whole Lot of Red, so hey, I believe him. He also said that a Cardi interview would release after he drops the album, but I don't know if I give him that much trust, you know? We're pretty much still waiting to get the track list and album cover. There was a track list that was floating around, but it was quickly debunked by DJ Academics as it was fake. So yeah, no real track list yet. But yeah, I'm really excited for this album to come. I'm really interested to see where he brings the content and see how much of that ATL trap he brings to the table in this project. But yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on this? Are you excited for this album to release? If so, how do you think it's going to sound? Do you think it's going to be his best project up to date or are you a bit concerned let me know in the comments but hey it's your boy go meal we out i had to come for all my problems and if i said it i mean it you know that fam i got you speeding on the highway run no boat and i find that shit up and i pass it up because you know that i'm shot time i'm enjoying the cycles this shit on me no i put some vvs all on my teeth because i feel like i'm weak